Hello, I'm Valentin Mandacer from History House Romania Cassid Epoch and welcome to my podcast. I had a recording a while ago, but it seems that the sound didn't work, so I hope now it's working. I would like to discuss about the highly peculiar art and architecture style of Southern Romania, which is the Principality of Olecia, which developed itself throughout the 18th century and usually called Brancovenesque. I would like to militate and to change uh, the views and uh, to use uh, to using um, the term Wallachian instead because it reflects the art and architecture in this part of uh, what is now Romania throughout the Principality of Wallachia. Hence, this name is much more fitting for it than Brancovenesque. Uh, it, the, the style started itself in late uh, 17th uh, century, it's already conjured and you can see it uh, fully shaped and then goes on throughout the long 18th century up until the Napoleonic Wars. Uh, the Brinkovenesque is a term which started uh, before the Great War, used uh, in the art uh, exegesis and articles of the interim period and then in the communist period there was much research and uh, the name stuck uh, into the mind of the people, but it's not the proper one. It's based on uh, a small dynasty of princes, Serban Kanta Cusino and Constantin Brancoveno, between late 17th century up until 1714, Constantin Brancoveno was executed by the Turks. Uh, the style at that time reached a kind of apogee, uh, but that one doesn't really justify the name given basically after one prince, Constantin Cantacuzzi, not, not, it's not even called Brunkovano, but it's from that family. Uh, so we have to use a term which reflects uh, the local area, the local geography in a way, the local uh, polity, which is a principality in its uh, own being, in its, in its uh, country at that time within the Ottoman Empire which developed its own art and architecture in the time of high stability and prosperity of the Ottoman Empire in that time. Uh, the usual Romanian uh, art histories uh, and art historians, when they look at the local phenomenon, phenomena in arts and history, they are having usually a very narrow point of view, looking just in a very isola in insulated uh, world island manner, let's put it that way. They, they don't look at the wider picture about phenomena which uh, are happening throughout Europe or the world, which in their turn influence the local evolution of art and architecture. So that's why you don't find much about why this style emerged in that time, in this part of the world. It's basically its, its identity, its, its first original creation in, in a the architectural field. But if you look careful, it developed, as I said, in that time of high stability and prosperity of the Ottoman Empire. Why that is, uh, has happened? Uh, the Ottoman Empire is an uh, Islamic cali caliphate and its ideology is to spread Islam throughout the world, to conquer the world. Uh, it realized that it cannot do that anymore at the second siege of Vienna in 1680, 1683, I think. Uh, the leadership of the state, of the Ottoman state, took a conscious decision to concentrate on what they have, to preserve as much as possible what of the empire of the hell. And that induced this prosperity throughout the empire. And arts developed in a province, frontier province like, like Wallachia, we have the emergence of the Wallachian style, which, as I said, wrongly is called now Brinkovenesk, which is also a mouthful of words. Uh, the Ottoman Empire is opening to the European civilization at, time, at that time, not only European, the Iranian one, it's uh, Persian one, it has lots of influence within the Ottoman Empire. In uh, Istanbul, the, uh, Istanbul becomes a very cosmopolitan town, not only uh, from a Middle Eastern point of view, but Europeans are there present from France, Germany, Italian states, the Christian quarter of Pera is, uh, is a hive, beehive of uh, Baroque and Enlightenment ideas, and these uh, ideas they found out throughout the empire and they synthesized themselves with the local tradition. And we have different kind 
of uh, artistic expressions in different provinces of the Ottoman Empire. Wallachia has a special status within the Ottoman Empire, together with the neighboring Moldavia, which formed Romania later on. Uh, they are Christian protectorates, so they maintain their aristocracy. And that is very important because the Ottoman architecture develops itself on Christian lines over here. Uh, the, the, during the 18th century, we also have the, the Greek rule of uh, Wallachia and Moldavia, the Fanariots, which were loyal to the Ottoman Sultan. In that time, Russia and Austria was pushing in these frontier provinces, in this uh, part of the Ottoman Empire, so the Turks considered the Greeks uh, from Fanar, Fanariots as being much more loyal than the local princes. So these princes didn't uh, occupy themselves with the art and architecture, but the local notables, the aristocrats, aristocracy, the native one, continued the style throughout, the, as I said, the long 18th century up until the Napoleonic Wars. To give you an idea about the style, and how original it is, and it deserves its name of uh, Olechian. I have uh, here a selection of uh, uh, pictures. One of the most important uh, such, such edifices is the Stravopolos Church in Bucharest, which is part of my Olechian style tour, which I had it today. So this is the church. It's a synthesis of many, many currents of arts. So you have the local one, which is the Byzantine origin by the Bulgarian Empire, like as you see in these columns. The Islamic influence, you can see these keel arches, these broken arches, for example, or the Persian influence in this kind of decoration over here, and Baroque Renaissance is a sculpture at the base. Uh, you cannot see it because of the fence over here. So all of these things together, the local Byzantine roots uh, traditions together with the Byzantine ones and the European Renaissance and the, uh, Baroque mix them together in a provincial manner and you have the Wallachian style. This is a masterwork of Wallachian style. How the Baroque and Renaissance ones came over here? The usual uh, the impression is that it came from neighboring Transylvania, which is about 100 kilometers from here. It's not that, it's because Transylvania and Olechia are divided by an alpine chain of, the mon of mountains, which is not only a, a geographical border, but also a uh, cultural border. These ones came from the, from the Ottoman Empire, from Istanbul. So what you see over here, all of these kind of things. They didn't come from neighboring Transylvania, but they came in this roundabout way from Istanbul, which, as I said, was very much influenced by these ideas at that time. Uh, why we have Islamic influences into the Wallachian style? Is because it's part of an Ottoman Caliphate, Wallachia, the Principality of Wallachia. You have to realize that the Christians in this state lived under the uh, Muslim uh, domination for hundreds of years was something like God-given uh, state and uh, that their art and architecture was considered very prestigious. So obviously in this time of peace and prosperity and everyone prospered, including the Christians and the Jews of the empire, this Islamic motifs percolated into the Wallachian art, into the Christian art. Another Islamic influence is the veranda of the church. The veranda is in influence of the madrasa, madrasa schools of the mosques. Uh, the provincial mosque in the Ottoman Empire have a veranda where the children learn the Quran. The Christians in Wallachia adopted it for children to learn the Bible. So these are practically the first public schools of Romania. Let's uh, have a look to some other Wallachian style. Uh, elements over here. For example, we have uh, the Ottoman rose over here. It's used in Ottoman palaces, Islamic palaces, but also in Wallachian style churches and also palaces at that time. What else we have here? For example, this doorway. You can see the Baroque influences. It's very interesting because these ones, they look very much with the, uh, similar to the Portuguese or 
Spanish Baroque where you need to go to colonial India. And sometimes when I have people at my tours from Spain and Portugal, they find this kind of similarities. It's a convergence actually, actually stylistical convergence because there is the tradition of uh, the Romanesque together with the Moorish one and then you have the Baroque over here we have Byzantine together with the Islam of the Ottomans and then this Baroque influence so the results are very similar and uh, also uh, why we should call it uh, Wallachian is because the style developed itself throughout the Principality of Wallachia. It started actually in the western Wallachia, it's a pro smaller province which is called Ultenia, in a monastery complex like Horezu, which was developed. The domestic architecture there in this Wallachian style was very uh, evident in the 17th, 18th century. The Kulas, for example, the, those fortified houses, and from there spread out to the northeastern. Wallachia, where Bucharest is based, uh, uh, and uh, spread itself throughout the Wallachia. So it deserves this kind of term which encompasses its geography, its spread. Uh, as I said, we don't have much remnants of civilian um, architecture uh, from that time. I mean, domestic architecture, not only churches, churches are the ones which are you know, who resisted. But we have in Oltenia the Kulas, the kind of fortified house built by the local humanary, which later on all of these things from Kulas and from the churches were included into the national style, New Romanian, in the national era. So I militate for this term, Wallachian instead of Brinkovenesque, which or Brinkovan, which is a mouthful of words, which is used as a kind of inertia, and because not much research has been done about it, I have a Wallachian style tour myself, which is well attended. Today I had another edition of it, and well, I was pleased to find out that people from as far away as Norway, Italy, or uh, Austria were interested in it, and from obviously Romanians. And uh, uh, I write about it on my blog, History House of Romania, on my Facebook page, and I intend also to publish some articles and hopefully a book sometimes. So the term Wallachian, in my opinion, is the term which we, we, have, we have to use for this highly peculiar art and architecture developed in the Principality of Wallachia in the 18th century. It deserves its name, instead of Brinkovenesque, as I said, because also we have a style in the neighboring principality, Mold Moldovi Moldavian, uh, which is, this one is recognized. And also in the 18th, 19th century, it's another style nearby, in the nearby principality of Transylvania. All of these three principalities form the core of modern Romania. So why not a Wallachian style? We have, um, because we already have in terminology the Moldavian and Transylvanian styles. So this is the name which we should use. That's my opinion and I militate for it. So I hope that you agree with me and I look forward to seeing you on my tours and uh, reading my articles in that regard. So I hope now the sound is working and uh, I spread the word about it. Thank you very much and we'll see each other very soon. Bye bye.